We are here at Don't Ever Bank Care Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida. Come here for the retirement. Stay here for the drive through funeral services. Getting buried has never been so quick and easy. I wouldn't mind taking a dirt nap here. Although my dream for years has been to be soaked in rum, then thrown into a volcano. <laughs> I like the idea of going out with a bang. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Crux and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. Hot. Hot one. Great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of brown mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? First and ten. He is fighting for every... One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Madness, madness. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we get out of First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First down and one. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, he did not see that coming. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is 
a bang return of Grimm. You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Second down in more than the QB would like. Pass play is good for eight yards. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... You, oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. This about a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... Ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means he can wrap up the other half. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Ah, another interception. Jeez, you give this guy a bigger pay. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. <laughs> nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. the bloody footprints to the new line that oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad it was probably all the diarrhea yeah, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to mexico forever to crack their pants huh 
Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down in a mile. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Two. And they run it for a couple of yards. I know I've said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. He picks up about six on the play. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch. And he, man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Touchdown! If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf punch, Grim. He damn near blew my face off. That was before the class even started. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. The 
offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. At the end of the first quarter, this one looks like a rout. Someone give me a beer. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. You can't keep a good, that's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and 10. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning. He's on fire! Yeah, he must have just eaten some of those death wings they serve on the concourse. They'll blow your ass apart. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when... Oh, what the brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, oh man, about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten.
Second down in a very lot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and three. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm crimp. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and long. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my love season. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait! I gotta take a dump! And that'll bring up second and one. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. First down and nine. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have been... And he just slipped away like a greased pig. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense gives up five yards there with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a... That cracked some skull jugular seem to have run out of people to kill and win this one by forfeit. I should have known they'd know about anatomy. What with their name at all? I didn't think they'd actually pull the other guys apart and demonstrate it, though. This was practically a science show. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. 
There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.